All right, there we go. The Germans are done. The last two rifles went together pretty well. Again, I got to use the last two arms or combos, so I didn't have to do that. Um, these ones that are on one foot are kind of interesting. And we, I look forward to putting something underneath there to support it, but it seems like an odd, like you wouldn't put some sort of pen. I don't know, it's interesting. But it went together fairly easy. I'm not really even sure what backpack to put on them. I put one on this guy, but I don't really necessarily like it. Kind of hanging off there a little bit, but um, didn't put anything on this guy. But these guys were 10 minutes, so five minutes each. So I'm going to say in half the time. These guys definitely went faster than the Americans. There's also fewer of them, so that helps. All right, let's go take it. Yeah, I spent my bonus 10 minutes, you know, because I said it, those last two guys took me 10 minutes. And I thought, yeah, uh, McMurray suggested I uh, make some uh, Panzerfaust stands. So I just collect, there's a bunch of stuff from the, uh, the, the half track and stuff. So it's just a machine gun sitting there. I don't know, this can maybe be an objective marker or a jump off point or something. Just a machine gun there, ready to go. Got a bullet string around it. And then here, these are Panzerfaust stands. So if it's Panzerfaust, I didn't put any Panzerfaust on them because usually it's a one shot weapon. And so you could give it to him, you know, and put it right next to a guy and say, he's carrying this one. And then when he uses it, you just remove it. So I just set them on the bags and stuff that they had. This one's got a shovel over there. This one's got a pile of bags and some gas canisters. And there they are, ready to go. So, and I was just going to lay them flat on the things, but I thought, no, I might as well give them a little, a little bit of life. It's a little bit of extra things there. I learned like the little modeler. All right. Uh, yeah, total time. There you go. German Army. Got your commanders up front. You got your two five-man squads uh, on either side of the... Uh, 251 37 millimeter gun because we'll just keep that on there i'll probably glue it on there because it's um it's not really made to magnetize or something i don't have any magnets so i'll just stick it on not worry about it um there's a machine gun on the back we want to say that and um i'm not going to glue those guys in there except for the guy that's you know loading the gun but um i guess it can be a transport even with that gun i guess it looks like they're still running so there you go. A little easier than the Americans. Fewer parts because they use a lot. They have a lot of combo arm and gun things. So, although there are some, they do have a lot of loose guns that you can need to put in their hands if you want. But you can give them a Russian submachine gun or all kinds of weapons. And oh, real quick, and here they are with all their equipment. Okay, everybody. The total time to build out the bolt action kit now. They're not, they're not glued down. I still have to base that. So there's no basing or anything like that. Just to build them all out. So if I were to have a, so if, a, okay. So if I've got this box and I pull them all out, I could be playing in 11 hours and 35 minutes. You know, somehow that doesn't sound too bad. 11 hours, 35 minutes. I mean, there is some joy in building this. So it's not all, and I don't like building, right? And even I'm like, that's yeah, cool. You know, it's some satisfaction, especially when I do them in little chunks like that. They don't seem so bad. But even 11 hours, if you and a friend got the box, opened them up together and built it together, you'd be done in, you'd be done in a day. Now, um, I was going to, I'm tempted to want, I want to play a game right now. Not right now, the glue starts to dry, but right now with the units as is. Um, I was, it was recommended to me, McMurray recommended to me that I give them a base coat. So you can, one, so you can differentiate them, but two, to show how easy it is. So I'm going to do that. Um, I bought some rattle can, as they call it overseas, over across the pond, bottom from Lowe's. I'm going to go with that paint. I think I do have some other hobby paint if I can get it to work. So that's the big trick. And I will give my rant about hobby paint. I apologize to the big companies. But I'm not sure yet. I'm not confident in my paint yet, what I've got, as far as the base coat. These will be fine. That'll be a black or a darker color. So anyway, 11 hours, 35 minutes to build out the Bolt Action Band of Brothers set. And so again, Warlord sent this to me as a part of this uh, North America as uh, to kind of support my series on getting started. I thank them for that. It's been a fun experience building. You know, I've had my little comments, but that's me about arms and all that. But they're together and in a, to me, a relatively not too bad amount of time when you think about it. And again, have a friend come in, crank it out and get playing. You could get playing in a day. We'll talk to you. See ya. 20 minutes a day. Get it done.